Hello everybody and welcome. This is Dean from Motion Media and uh, today uh, this is going to be the first of a few parts uh, where we look at Marvelous Designer which is a real-time clothing simulator program and uh, 3DS Max and uh, getting uh, a character with motion uh, into Marvelous Designer and, and look at that process in a little more detail. Um, so let's get started. Uh, this is the uh, default to Marvelous Designer. I reset, uh, I, I have a new file space and I cleared the avatar, that's why we don't see anything. So we're going to go back to Max. So I have, this is actually uh, a really old character with uh, that's actually rigged with physique. So if you know what that is, uh, you're also really old. So um, the first thing we want to do is we want to get this character into um, uh, marvelous designer. So before we do that, I'm jumping ahead here. The first thing you need to do is you make sure that you have installed the Open Colada tools uh, onto your computer and simply choose the appropriate uh, bit version for whatever you have, Max or Maya. And I will include this link at the bottom of the video. Uh, but that's step number one. Once you've installed it, you open up Max, you've got a character with animation. So the first thing we're going to do is do a point cache on this character, uh, which will basically record the vertex uh, position throughout this entire piece. So we're going to say new, and we're going to, very important, save it as a point cache. I've already got one here, we're just going to overwrite it. And we're going to say record. And so now what it's doing is, again, recording the uh, vertex information, uh, position, uh, and what have you for the entire 148 frames, and uh, it's saving it to this point cache file. And you can see it looks like it's uh, crashed. It isn't. It just, for some reason, uh, only counts up so high in there. So now it's done. You can see it's saved. Um, I purposely did the point cache first. Uh, now we're going to, with the character selected, we're going to export selected. We're going to make sure that you choose Open Collada and not Autodesk Collada. So make sure it says Open Collada. I'm going to overwrite the one I have here. And that's very loud. I'm accepting the defaults. And that's it. Now we're going to go back to Marvelous Designer. First thing we're going to do is import the character via Collada. That's our character. Import, load as avatar, accepting the defaults, there's our character. Uh, if we switch to their animation mode, we can grab the frame slider and see there is no animation. So we'll go back to the edit uh, pattern area. Now we're going to say file import vertex animation point cache 2. And this is the point cache we just did. Uh, important here that it's assigned to the body. It's really simple in this case because that's all that's in the scene, but if there were cloth items you'd see them listed. Make sure you choose this. Next is the scale. My scale is centimeters. Make sure this matches. If it doesn't, it's gonna not work. Say OK. It imports the file. We can check it by going to the animation window again, dragging the time slider, and you see we have animation. Now, I did this on purpose incorrectly uh, so that I could just show what I a little work around here. You can see that in this particular animation the character is moving at a diagonal and thus isn't uh, sort of uh, perpendicular to my uh, viewport here which is going to make it more difficult to design clothes. I also noticed that uh, I use a Wacom and not a mouse and it's pretty tricky to do the viewport controls and I don't have a way to rotate only zoom and pan. So it makes it a little bit easier if I could have this character come in facing the front viewport. So let's go back to Max and do that. So I'm going to, I'm, I'm basically just making an adjustment so that it will be easier for me to work with this in Marvelous Designer. So I'm making a, a dummy in the center of the world. I'm going to grab the root of the biped, which is the root of the skeleton. I'm going to link it to the dummy and then I'm going to rotate it so that uh, it's facing more of the front view and you can see the body didn't come along that's because we put a point cache on it and it locks it in that position so we'll just simply remove that 
and now you can see our character starts more looking in the front view which is what we want so let's go through that process again we will add a point cache and we're going to say new we're going to make sure it's point cache 2 overwrite the one we have and say record and I'm not going to talk through this whole thing except to say um, the next video is going to cover uh, building a simple dress around this character and then uh, getting some animation of the cloth interacting with the body and then exporting that all uh, back to Max and then that lining up process. Okay, so uh, now we have um, uh, the point cache of the animation. So now we're going to export the character again. So export selected. Again, open Collada. We're going to overwrite this character. Accept the defaults. We'll go back to Marvelous Designer. I'm going to clear the avatar. Import Collada. Here's our new character, which should be facing us. Okay, which is, that's great. And then import vertex animation point cache 2. And we'll bring that in. Make sure our scale's matched up. It's applied to the body. Say OK. We check it by going to the animation screen. And there we go. Okay, so I hope this is clear. Uh, if you have geometry in Max that you want that has animation, you need to export it as a Collada file, open Collada, and then do a point cache to get that animation in. If it's an object with no animation, you can export it as an OBJ and bring it into Marvelous Designer as an OBJ. Hope this was informative, and we will see you soon. Thanks a lot.